Hello, my name is Zach, and thank you for watching. In this training video, I will demonstrate how to add the AutoCAD Classic workspace into AutoCAD versions 2015 and newer. The processes shown in this video assume that you are using an AutoCAD product version 2015 or newer, are using a Windows-based PC, and prefer the classic or legacy appearance of AutoCAD using toolbars and drop-down menus instead of the newer ribbon interface. For background purposes, this is generally how AutoCAD products have appeared upon first launch since release version 2008, when the ribbon was first introduced as the dashboard. Renamed to the ribbon in release version 2009, the ribbon is a set of panels and controls across the top of the AutoCAD program window, which replaces the purpose and functionality of the legacy toolbars and drop-down menus from prior releases. Starting in AutoCAD 2008 and continuing through release version 2014, AutoCAD included the classic AutoCAD workspace for those users who preferred the legacy look and feel of the toolbars and drop-down menus. Switching to the classic AutoCAD workspace was a quick and easy way to toggle over to that environment. However, starting with AutoCAD release version 2015, the classic workspace was removed from the program. The user interface elements, toolbars, menus, etc., which made up the classic workspace are still included, though, but there is no longer a quick method to switch them on and turn the ribbon off. Fortunately, it's still relatively easy to add the classic workspace into newer versions of AutoCAD, and we'll go through that process now. The first thing you'll need to do is download the file classicworkspacescript.zip, for which you'll find the link in the description section of this video. Most web browsers now default to saving files you download from the internet into a folder called Downloads. Wherever it saves on your machine, locate the classic workspace script.zip right-click it, and choose Extract All. Specify a location for the folder and click the Extract button. In the extracted folder, you'll find two more zip files. Depending on which AutoCAD product you have, you'll need to unzip one of them. The file ACAD LT 2014 coix.zip is for AutoCAD LT, while ACAD 2014 coix.zip is for full AutoCAD, AutoCAD architecture, and all other AutoCAD toolset products. Extraction of the zip file is the same as before. For this demonstration, I'll use the ACAD 2014 coix.zip file. Now that we have the source file we'll need, which contains the classic workspace, let's go into AutoCAD. I'm using release version 2019. Launch the CUI editor, either by typing the command CUI or by clicking the Manage Ribbon tab, then selecting the CUI User Interface button on the customization panel. In the CUI editor, click on the Transfer tab. In the right-hand frame, click the Open button and browse to the folder location of the ACAD 2014 CUIX file. Select the file and then click Open. Drag the AutoCAD Classic workspace from the Workspaces section in the right-hand frame and drop it into the Workspaces section in the left-hand frame of the CUI editor. Finally, Click OK to apply the changes and exit the CUI editor. At this point, all we have left to do is switch from the current workspace to the classic workspace we just imported. Click the gear icon in the AutoCAD status bar to display the workspace options and choose the AutoCAD classic workspace. As we can see, the ribbon gets turned off, a few toolbars are now on, as well as the tool palette. The tool palette can be repositioned, docked, or turned off. Right-clicking on any toolbar will list all the available toolbars, and those which are currently turned on will display a check mark next to their name. Clicking any toolbar name in the list will turn that toolbar on or off. That's all that's required to bring the classic AutoCAD workspace into release version 2015 and newer. Once you have it, upgrading to an even newer release on the same computer will then offer the migration of your current AutoCAD settings, which will bring the classic workspace along with the rest of your configuration. Going through this process will not be necessary at that point. For other Autodesk troubleshooting and training videos, please refer to the notes section of this video or search our channel for other content.